The James Webb Space Telescope is going to be the scientific successor to Hubble and it will, when it launches, it will be the world's biggest telescope that anybody's ever launched. It has a mirror that's six and a half metres across. It has a sunshade that is the size of a tennis court and it measures infrared light. Infrared wavelengths are slightly longer than optical wavelengths and they're less energetic but that means you can see different things. All of a sudden there's about a hundred times as many stars and a lot of the dust sort of evaporates away because the infrared light can pass through it. So we've got a few years before launch and what we have is this very large database taken with the Spitzer Space Telescope of infrared spectra. We have a lot of data from the Spitzer Space Telescope, but a lot of that is not classified very well. Students are introduced to the data, they become familiar with it, they understand how to classify different objects, and then the school will be given their own set of observations. So they will be looking at these objects and telling us what type of star they are, what stage are they in their life cycle. We were investigating stars using the Spitzer Space Telescope. All the data is like untouched. Like no one has analysed this before. And we found this unusual object. object. So we have a discovery in the bag, which is incredible. What we're going to do now is try and find the sort of rare things that are going to be worth going to look at. And then when we find those, we'll have to write a proposal to apply for some telescope time. And then beyond that, once the space telescope has launched and has started to take observations, once we get that data back, students will also be in a position to analyse that data. For me, space is interesting and it's exciting because it's where we come from. We're all stardust. The atoms and molecules that we're made out of were made in stars. How did that happen? What can I learn about it?